bow tie, yeah, 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 bow tie, yeah. Last week in the Bow Tie movie, Bow Tie and Porcupine landed on the moon, only to be greeted by dangerous robots with swords. And what they thought was robot. We now continue with the Bow Tie movie in three, two, one. Hi, Bow Tie. Welcome to the body. I didn't expect to see you on the moon. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Um, this is uh, Porcupine. At your service. Can I interest you in any moon pies or other? I'll take these for the road. See you, suckers. Bow Tie. Oh, you just. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm more interested in what the hell you're doing here. Yeah. Let's go somewhere private. Oh, what a nice moon scraper you have. It's like this. Did you ever run away from something so terrible it's hard to even talk about? Um, one time I stubbed my toe really hard and- No, no, no. This is much worse. One day, in my room, I was minding my own business. All of a sudden, the water turns on. Someone's outside with a, with a hose. So I get completely soaked. My bed is ruined, everything. And as I'm rusting solid, I look out the window and it's pizza. And he's laughing and laughing and laughing. And my mother, oh, you know her. Yeah, I do. Remember she always said, I would kick you to the moon if you ever ruin your room with a high-powered garden hose. Oh, it's terrible. But you gotta come back with me. We need you on Earth. What should happen next in the Bowtie movie? It's up to you. Leave your ideas in the comments below. Okay, here's all the awesome people that contributed to scene 5 of the Bowtie Fantastic Movie. Becky Poole said, Moon-themed appetizers at the party. Mm-mm. Lily Von Lynn said, I think Robot's mom should ruin the party. And you could say that that gave the idea of including Robot's mom and... Nikobatsu said, Porcupine sneaks off with balloons first chance he gets. And oh, that little scamp, that's what he did. Space Alien Hula Buddy Chronicles said, This might be a good time for a flashback or a moment like a regular format. I also think Bowtie's mom should yell at him for being on the moon. Her yelling at him is part of the flashback. And the whole situation with pizza flooding Robot's room is a callback to the original format of Bowtie, where everything's based on real stories, and that moment is based on a real story. And finally, Nom Nom Pie said, Bowtie gets invited to Robot's moon skyscraper. And whoa, that is some place. Even though we only made it to the elevator. Thanks you all, thanks for inspiring scene 5 of the Bowtie movie. Don't forget to leave your idea about what you want to see next in scene 6. Will Robot go home? Can Bowtie convince him? Or should something completely different happen? It's up to you.